Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm your host, Isaac Porter from Lowry Porter Ophthalmology, and this is your weekly update in ophthalmology and eye care. This week we have a very special episode. We have Dr. Carrie Pate with us today, a retina specialist from Taylor Vitrio Retinal. Because today we want to talk about macular degeneration, and Dr. Pate is going to give us some good clues about macular degeneration. So first of all, could you tell us, please, what exactly is the macula and what is macular degeneration? First of all, I think thanks to uh, Isaac Porter and Dr. Lowry for having me here today. The uh, macula is the center part of your vision. That's what's critical to be able to read and drive and do all the important things like threading a needle, using a computer. And when people get macular degeneration, it's basically an early aging process in the eye that can cause damage to that central vision and cause people not to be able to see, to read, and see small print. So then, who are the main people that are at risk for getting macular degeneration? So we don't really know why certain people get it and why other people don't. Um, but it typically occur occurs in fair-skinned individuals, and if people live long enough, mostly they'll have some changes from macular degeneration. Um, it definitely runs in families, so people are at higher risk if uh, family members or parents specifically have macular degeneration. Okay. And what age are you usually thinking about that you might start to see it on average? Or when would you recommend people that have a family history of macular degeneration be checked for it? It's probably worthwhile if you have a family history getting at least some routine eye exams while you're in your 60s. Um, if we see somebody who has a family history and they have no macular degeneration whatsoever, we'll follow them every year or two. But once you get into your 70s and 80s, that's typically when we start to see it manifest. And by the time people are in their 90s, um, that's when we really see it very prevalent. Okay. Um, what are the different stages of macular degeneration or the varying severity? So there's two different kinds of macular degeneration. This is the hardest concept that, for people to understand, but one type is the dry kind, and that's typically the first time, the first kind that people get. That is a, an abnormal aging process where the area underneath the retina starts to degenerate, and it's kind of like soil eroding in a garden where the plants are not so fertile over it. Um, that's a very slow change and people that have dry macular degeneration might not notice any changes early and it might take many many years before they really notice functional visual decline. Mm -hmm. The second stage is called wet macular degeneration. And that occurs when blood vessels grow underneath the retina and leak and bleed and it's kind of like weeds if they grew in a garden and they can overtake it very fast and so when, met, when wet macular degeneration begins and you get leakage of fluid under the retina and bleeding, the vision can de decline very rapidly. Okay. I like to tell my patients that wet is the worst, so that helps them remember sometimes between the yeah. dry and the wet. Um, what treatments do you have? So the dry macular degeneration, typically we look into different vitamin combinations. And we've been studying those for years, and there seems to be a certain um, few vitamins that when taken can prevent the progression of the wet kind to the, I mean, I'm sorry, from the dry kind to the wet kind in certain patients. Mm -hmm. The wet kind of macular degeneration has a much more aggressive course and we can treat that with injections of medicine into the eye and it's actually extremely effective for stopping the progression of macular degeneration in those patients. Okay, that's great. I know there have been a lot of new treatments that have come along in the past few years for macular degeneration helping these patients keep a lot of vision that they have or even regain some. So I want to say a big thanks to Carrie Pate for joining us today on A State of Sight. As always, if you have any questions, please interact with us on our Facebook. We'll be happy to converse with you there. Until next time, good health and good sight.